Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll see how to use the network backup in Avaya Proactive Contact. A network backup, which is also known as a third-party host backup, is another option for backup over the traditional tapes or DVDs. It lets you backup the data from the proactive contact to another server in the network, which is also called as a third-party host server. It's important to note that this third-party host server must support the SSH and SFTP protocol. The first step now is to create the backup configuration file. For that, first I log into the system administrator menu using a SysADM type of account. I then choose option 4 for manage backup configuration file and it opens up the backup configuration utility. Here I will specify the host name of my third-party host server, etc. For starting the configuration, I'll choose the option 1, Start Configuration. It asks me if I want to add the third-party host. I say yes. It asks me the host name. I input the host name of the third-party host server. It asks me to confirm. I confirm the host name with a yes. It then asks me for the user account to be used to log into the third-party host server. Make sure that the user account you input here must be created on the third-party host server. For this demo, we will use the user account as user9, which I have already created on the third-party host server. It then asks me to confirm the user account. I do that with a yes. Then it asks the directory where it will store the backup on the third-party host server. You must mention the complete path here. We will input it as slash tmp asks for the confirmation. I do a yes there. Then it asks for the SSH configuration. Normally you don't need to make any changes here and it will take the default SSH configurations. If there are any specific SSH configurations like changing the SSH protocol version, then you should make those changes here. For this demo, we will select no here. Then it asks if we want the encryption done on the backup. Typically, no encryption is done by default, so I will choose no here also. Then it shows the final configuration list and asks to save these values. I do a yes here. And the values have been saved now. So we come back to the administrator main menu now. If I go back in again to option 4, manage backup configuration file, and this time if I choose option 2 to show the current settings, you will see the values that we just created. So now our backup configuration has been created. Now in the next step, we will see how to take the network backup on the third party host server. I log into the system administrator menu using a sysadm type of account. Choose option 3 for backup, restore and verify. For this demo, we will do a local backup, so we choose option 2. Then you can choose one of the available backups. For this demo, let me choose option 6, that is for data and stat files. This will include the job trans and info.stat files and also the logs in the system. Then when it asks me to select the media, I choose option for the third party host, which is number 3. When I choose that, it picks up the configuration that we just created. You can verify the host name, the user account on the third party host server and the directory to store the archive file. I say yes to continue. I say yes for the RSA fingerprint prompt. Then it asks for the password. I input the password for the account user 9 on the third party host. Please note that it may ask you to input the password more than one time here. It then creates the backup gzip file. You will see the host name of the system you are backing up, the date and time it got created, etc. I say yes to continue here and it will start the archiving process. It again asks for the password. I input that and it's finished now. So it has created the archive file and it has stored it on the third party host server. 
to show you where the archive file got stored i have logged into the third party host server you will see the archive file present in the slash tmp directory that is the directory name we configured while saving the backup configuration so this is how you can take a network backup of the proactive contact system on a third party host server now in the next step we will also see how to restore the data to the proactive contact from this archive file which is sitting on the third party host server for that i again log into the system administrator main menu using a sysadm type of account choose option 3 for backup restore and verify then choose option 2 again for local backup and restore and then choose option 7 restore all i say yes to continue then it asks me to select the media i choose option 3 a third party host and then it asks me to verify if these are the configurations for the third party host i say yes to continue it asks for the password now it's asking for the password for user 9 here i input the password it asks for the password again and then it asks to choose the archives from the list so i choose option 2 for most recent archives from my proactive contact system it asks for the password again i input that and then it shows me the list of the most recent archives that i created from the proactive contact system i see the one that i just created at number 1 i select that then it asks me if i'm ready to restore the file i say yes and now it will stop the services on my proactive contact system it will stop the pds the mts and database processes so you must make sure that when you are restoring the file your system should be non operational because it's going to stop the services so once it has stopped all the services it's asking for the password again i input that and then it starts the restore procedure so you will see the list of the files that it's restoring from the gunzip file and then when it's complete it will ask to start the processes again i say yes there and it will start the database the mts and the pds processes in that order once it's finished it will show the message press any key to continue So we saw how to take a network backup on a third party host server and also how to restore it. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor@avai.com or at avai mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avai.com. Thank you for choosing Avai.